Breaking news, Big D country. <coughs> Question. Why is it that somebody wants to try to take something for you and they know what you, they can get away from it? When somebody either help you with food or you pay for your own delivery and you can't even call the cops. Come on, man. What's that? Get out of line. Yeah, get out of here. You want to know what happens when you try to save, or when you try to steal life saving supplies and food from somebody that's already down on his luck? You want to know what happens when you steal from a widower? You want to know what happens? You just made a lift! <laughs> Anywho, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, before we get to our prime, uh, uh, prime, well, 50 50 of a, a pay per view, yeah, I was robbed for the third straight time in a row. Third Thank straight you. time in a row. First, it was from Pizza Hut from a uh, Grump Up Diver. Second, was Meals on Wheel when I got back from Podfest when I thought it was supposed to be left in the, on the, uh, outside the door because of the way my depression is. Second is before this recording. Now, obviously, I got a show to do. And as they say in entertainment, the show must go on. But if we was in wrestling, if I was standing in the ring, in the middle of the ring right now, I would say this. To the thief that stole my box, I give out of the kindness of my heart Whatever milk that I don't like, which that I don't like to certain kind of milk, I give whatever I don't like out of the kindness of my heart. You did not have to steal my boss, a whole boss that could have saved my life. I challenge you, I challenge you to a match at WrestleMania. You better be there, or else I'm going to find you and drag you to Hollywood, and we will have that match at WrestleMania. <laughs> yes, and speaking of, we're on the road to WrestleMania, by the way. Exactly. Mic drop. Okay. Now, here's the part where you all been waiting for. I'm here with my special guest today. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law one. We're going to take about the elimination chamber. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law one. Well, we win, but we lost on a ride or die. We got really upset and we're mad. And we felt like we're going to cry. Well, maybe the next pay-per-view we get it right. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law of one. Ladies and gentlemen, the sheriff is in town, and I like to press charges on somebody, sheriff. Get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, right, here we go. Big C! Thank you, Deshaun. Thank you so much. All right, the Elimination Chamber for the women's, for the women's, for a WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania 39. So, Asuka defeated Carmella, Liv Morgan, Natalya Neidhart, Nikki Cross, and Raquel Rodriguez. So, Asuka is going to go on to WrestleMania to challenge Bianca Belair. And that match, the double downs, you know, we have our problems with the double downs on that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll have to talk about it once the time comes, but wow, definitely going to be a double down. Yeah. But either way, it was a fun pay-per-view. I heard the women, as always, stole the show. I heard, what's up with that? Exactly. The women I always stole the show. Yeah. Great action. Wow. Man. The and only thing good. is, I can only have a press on a few of them because a lot of the top contenders are already dating or, or married, and they'll be taken right from under my foot. Yeah. 
And good. Nice. Yeah. Bobby Leslie defeated Brock Lesnar by disqualification via, via low blow by Brock Lesnar. And let me guess. I bet you he was hopping mad after the match. Oh. That's not good. So Bobby Lashley is going to take on Bray Wyatt. Well, ride or die. Ride or die, Bray Wyatt. Yep. Ride or die. All right. Exactly. Let's speak it out. We've got an episode of Firefly Funhouse. It's coming up up Friday on SmackDown. Oh, I bet you it's going to be good. Oh, I hope Rambler Rabbit, like, I love it. Every time, you know, when Rambler Rabbit gets killed. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Rambler Rabbit. You bastard. Well, you know what? These past couple of times about, you know, what's been happening to me, I feel like I'm Rambler Rabbit. Sheesh. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of me. It's just the sheesh, Deshaun. Exactly. Anyway, continue, Cheryl. Okay, okay, all right. Edge and Beth Phoenix defeated Judgment Days. Finn Balor with Rhea Ripley. Finn Balor and Rhea, Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio. What is Ooh. going on with Dominic? What is going on with Dominic Mysterio? He's got Rhea Ripley under his, you know. Oh. Something, something I can't say here on the air. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I wish I knew, and wow. I mean, every single time that I like a wrestler, somebody always take the, take her. Come on, after, man! But, Stop that! But after but after what happened, after he, after Dominic Mysterio joined Judgment Day after Clash of the Castle a few months ago, what? Wow. Yeah. Well, then how come, wait, 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 I don't understand. Wait, I thought that, unless this was once a year ago, I just saw when um, The Miz was joining Logan Paul for the match in uh, WrestleMania with Dominic and, and, and the father. What's going on? Or was that last year? Well, that was last year. This year, well, that was at WrestleMania last year. Then, then six months later, at Clash of the Castle in the, the UK, Dominic Mysterio took the Turned his back on not only his father, but WWE Hall of Famer, Edge. Oh, okay, yeah, because WWE has been releasing old video. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Yep. But hey, Austin Theory, still the United States champion. Oh, wow. He defeated Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, Johnny Gargano, Montez Ford, and Seth Rollins. Whoa, how the heck did they do all that? Oh, that was an elimination chamber. Okay, okay, that was an elimination chamber match. Okay. That was for the United States Heavyweight Championship. Whew. Man. But then, but then the big one. Roman Reigns. Then Roman Reigns defeated Sami Zayn by pinfall. Single Three. match for the Universal Championship. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Man. And the WWE Universe was way behind Sami Zayn 100% during that match. And his family was there. And wait, wait, in the words of JR, he's got a family, damn it! He's got a family! Exactly. I was. Yeah. When you told me this, I think we was in the middle of the game, but when you told me this, I was upset. I was like, knew I was already going to World War One that uh, that week. I mean, I have just like I said in a couple of videos. I had better luck with the Super Bowl. Exactly. But hey, Roman Reigns now gets to take on Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, Chef. I hope this does not squash or bury Sami Zayn. I mean, he is too popular. Too popular to let that that uh that uh die down that fast. He is too damn I popular. Tell, I can tell this push is going to go for. I tell you, this push is going to go really good a bit. Yeah, but what would what would he what would he be pushed for if it's not the uh if it's not for one of the belts? What would he be pushed for? Probably the American or United States Championship. Oh yeah. 
or even the tag team title. Yeah, but he was well. Kevin Owens don't want to don't want to join him. That's the only problem. What happened last night on Raw? In case you missed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I I, I was like scrolling the video that was up there. Uh, Sammy saying uh, I mean, Kevin Owens refused Sammy Zayn. I was like, uh, uh, so if they were to go to the tag team champions, who would who, 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 who present him? Exactly. That's. That's one thing I've been at, one thing I've been asking myself, you know. But yeah. Hey, that's I, WWE for. I think it would be best that he would go for the uh, the inter- yeah the Intercontinental cha- cha- Championship because at this rate, you know, like it would have to be somebody else that would be willing to go for the title with him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a, I mean, yeah. This thing has gone. Really far right now. I love it. Yeah, and I was like so into the story. I mean, I, yeah, I still like Paul Heyman's catchphrases, but I mean, probably Ray had the title for almost like two years or whatever. I for, I forgot now. I lost count. He had but the title lost, for almost two years. But he was beaten, but but he was beat. He but yes, who he took the title from? Uh, John Cena. Uh, Uh, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. Yep. Or the whole problem. He he lost. He lost the championship in a triple threat match when they were in the WWE Thunderdome. Oh wow! And I think I think in the uh, in one of the announcements they had like it was like four people that only. Only told the title uh, either as long as Roman Reigns. I know Hulk Hogan was one. Bob Backlund was another one. I forgot the other two. But yeah. I mean, go ahead. It was it was CM Punk. Uh huh. Also, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, exactly. So the problem is. When are they going to get the belt off of off of Roman Reigns? How 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 long? I mean. Is Cody going to be the one, like, one and one to do it? I know. It's Shawn Michaels for once. <laughs> He's going to do it. I don't feel Yeah. How long is he going to have that belt? I mean, or, or, or both of those belts? How long? How long? I ask him. Well, I'm going to say till least till WrestleMania or I don't know. Yeah. Because if he has a past WrestleMania, then I'm just only going to do pay-per-views. I'm not going to watch only, only except for I watch for the, you know, my, I still like the uh, acknowledge me part. I still like some of Paul Heyman's part, but yeah, it, it's like enough is enough. I remember it was Paul E. Dangerously in ECW. What was that? I remember it was Paul E. Dangerously in WCW. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Yep. So obviously he was uh, repackaged, right? Yep. I was just seeing the industry. You know, so how did Cheris feel about the Sammy Zane loss? I know she was probably cheering for him. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was cheering for um, Zane. You know, she actually she was actually cheering for Sammy Zane, but like. Like, oh, rats. Hey. I was like, stop at a whammy. Oh, no. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing. He sure got balls to return to the press conference uh, after that loss. I mean, I mean, it sure got, he sure had guts to uh, even speak to the press after that. I mean, I, 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 I hats off to him. Exactly. Man. Now, hey, at least, I, go ahead, Cheryl. At least he's having fun with what he's doing, though, in wrestling, though. Yeah, but I want to want to have title. Then it would probably would have been it would probably been a, a Cody versus Sammy kind of match hmm. at Mania. That would have been interesting. Yeah, but now the story can't. But now, now unless it's uh, 
this is Cody Rhodes. Now the story can't be finished. Because Cody Rhodes did tell him to finish the story. Yep. I love that part. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Kevin Owens. Actually, I'm stuttered. Paul Heyman. Oh, uh, that's why he was wearing that neck brace of SmackDown. A raw. A raw. A raw. Raw shot! <laughs> raw SmackDown. What? But anyway. For <laughs> oh that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. But anyway. That's what happens when you steal the guy's food. Oh, speaking of stealing the guy's food, uh, yeah, I kind of, kind of uh, have a, a secret crush on Nikki, uh, Nikki Cross after what, what she was doing with the, uh, with the commentators on SmackDown. I was like, oh, okay, she's available, huh? Uh huh. Oh. But then when she lost, I was like, damn it. Oh no. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, but um, yeah, but it looks like um, Roman Reigns could be a uh, Michael Larson, and not in a good way. It, uh, what do you mean? You know, Michael Larson won all that money on Press Your Luck. Yeah. Let's say Roman Reigns is doing it for the wrong reasons. Roman Reigns has been holding that title for at least two years now. He needs to let it go. They, he needs to drop the deck on belt. It's too long. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to drop the. T- they need to. Just, they need to give the champions to someone else. Amen. Preach it, Sheriff. Yeah. But hey, I've seen longer title runs than that. Um, Honky Tonk Man back in the eighties. That's the Intercontinental Champ. Whoa. It's a good night. Yeah, I mean they can't just build WWE only around Roman Reigns and he's a heel. I mean you can't just do that. He did have him as a tweener for a little while though. Yeah, especially when he, especially when he was fighting cancer. I you know I did like them with, with with that when he was fighting cancer, but now that now that he's in remission and now he's played the heel, now it's like, well I only liked it that like especially what you said when you, when you were saying the the uh, acknowledgement part that made me laugh. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I like about him. Exactly. Yeah, I like his catchphrase. Yeah, his catchphrase and his music. Yeah. That yeah. music is like, cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. this has been a really good um this is a really good wrestling report. And don't don't forget we're gonna have another one basically the next couple weeks because Am Dishon and and Prince DJ. I think we're probably do the next one a two parter. Yeah. Um. What is the next pay per view? WrestleMania. Yeah. Let's do a two parter. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm wrestling is a two night event. Yeah. So we could do one part. One day, and then we go to another part, another day. But we have to do. We have to make sure we do it before that. Good idea. And I apologize. Yeah. I apologize for not doing. And we apologize for not doing it sooner. Working like. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! I did want to say, like, uh, like I said before, during the press conference, Triple H was glowing, just like, like if, if we, uh, somebody was for the day or after a wedding. I mean, he said. The elimin- he said, and I quote, the Elimination Chamber was almost like it was WrestleMania. He thanked the, the superstars, he thanked the crowd, he thanked the press, and he was, like, really ecstatic. I mean, he was like a, he was like a kid at Christmas time. Exactly. That's what every wrestling fan wants. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I kind of wish I was there. I kind of wish I was there coming in, uh, and then we could still talk about it on on the show, but I was just there, and I could tell you how the vibe was. I was like, oh, it was crazy. Oh, I couldn't hear myself think of da 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, no disrespect. Yeah, so, uh, 
I mean, no disrespect to Vince McMahon, though. No disrespect to him at all. But, yeah. Yeah, but they still talk about him selling to Saudi. Now he wants nine billion, nine million or $9 billion and other companies don't want it. I was like, oh, my God, again. It's not, it's not Saudi. That thing was just a rumor. Yeah, they're still, they're still pushing that crap. Well, you never know. As long as they still have the superstars, though, in the, in the fans, that, that'd be great. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did sell to, to, to NBC. Yeah, I'd rather have it there than, than the Saudi. Ugh. That'd be a hard, that would be a hard pass. Um, not just, but not, not just as a wrestling fan, but, you know, just yeah. um, And a lot of the stars yeah. won't be able to get there either because they can't, they can't go because of their religion or, you know, because the way they feel about Saudi Arabia. A whole but bunch a, of them. Yeah, but that's uh, another subject for another time, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Sheriff, I, I am so glad that we're working together with wrestling. You know, let's keep on doing this. You know, let's 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 take WrestleMania and go beyond all the pay per views no matter how we feel. So I mean, you know, we're we're marked for life. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. We're good yeah. I said I'm glad to be here on the Big D Zone podcast. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So you know what to do. Do you have uh, Do you have any words that you like to part? And then also tell tell the uh, people about your YouTube ch- uh, YouTube channel. And you know, before I do my liquor commercial, take it away. Yes. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any, any if you have any opinions on what we talked about in tonight's podcast, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the STL Ocarina podcast Thursdays right after our Facebook right after Facebook's after our Facebook feed. We will upload it directly to our YouTube to the YouTube channel, which you can find the YouTube channel at Big C one nine eight seven. And if you if you if you like what you see or hear, um, if you want to like make sure make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Big D Zone podcast for more information. Plus, we have a special coupon code. If you use coupon code CHARLES at checkout, you'll receive a whopping 20% off on all products. Visit the website www.stlocarina.com or check us at a convention near you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me if I use that coupon code, you mean to tell me I can say 20% off all merchandise? All, all no. products on the website. All products on the website, 20% off. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Once I get my money right, I got to get my gear, man. I got to get my gear. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And in fact, the ocarina is actually a fun instrument to play. No matter what, no matter what age, it can be for anywhere, anytime, anyone. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. And the shop- you have your plot in, in Deshaun? What yeah. about Live Good? What about Live Good? How did you do Wait a minute. How did you know I was going to segue into that? You are so good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're bad. We're bad. Yowie, wowie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My friends know me. See that? See that, y'all? My friends know me. Anyhow. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, Big C, Cheryl. Yes, sir. I have to tell you, you didn't do your homework because I never received the email. Ah, I'm still ah, It's been busy, you know, with work, life, and everything going on, man. But I tell you this. I tell you this. Once you're pre roll, you could take the tour and get this. You could order the products wherever you can, but there is a cutoff on, on Thursday. See, now they have a fear of missing out. You know, FOMO is fear of missing out. So say like you for your role, and I'm already above you, and then somebody is below you, but they're still pre rolling So if you don't upgrade a t- on, on Thursdays and every Thursday is an act, well, guess what? That person is going to leapfrog over you, okay, and then they'll be placed above you, 
instead of you being placed above it, them because you have to wait. And then you can like, whap, whap, whap. Why did I not upgrade? Good coming. So, Good. Sheriff, right. Sheriff, what do you know so much about this gun so far? That's amazing products for everyone. That's right. They got coffee, y'all. You want your cup of joe? Well, I don't drink coffee, by the way. But, <laughs> but if you want your healthy cup of joe, they got that. Uh, you have, okay, so you like Super Beast, but they're too expensive. Forget that! Don't go to the expensive stores. You can save money on Lift Good by ordering uh, Super Red at lower cost. You can even get CBD oils. Now, after I go to podcast movement and in between uh, Vegas and Denver, I'm getting me a CBD oil because, as you know, I have severe depression and PTSD. I had a panic attack last night, okay? So I had a panic attack not only last night, but also during PodFest at the last night of the, uh, of the event. So please, if you're struggling like I am, Get your CBD oil. They also come in peppermint. Now, I'm, I'm going to get that because I love something in flavor. So what are you sure thinking about, about ordering? Well, my wife loves peppermint, especially in tea. Oh, ooh. So you think about getting the green tea? I'm quite possibly thinking about it because, you know, I haven't got a chance to subscribe yet, but I will. Yeah, one. You, gotta, yeah you, gotta, you gotta go on and subscribe because you you better you, you better find out because all your friends are gonna say, hey, have you joined Lift Good yet? Have you joined Lift Good, Lift Good yet? Wait, you said, hey, I'm only joining under the Big D zone and Big D country. But um, thank you so much, everyone. Love we love hearing you on the Big D zone podcast. Let us know in the comments. Exactly. So, how do you join Lift Good? Well. It's easy. I'll tell you. Go to livegoodtour.com slash 50 country. Livegoodtour.com slash 50 country. And uh, for everything that is related to the show, and I know I haven't run a big blog lately because I have, to, I have severe depression. So I'm going to work at it. I'm going to work at it. It's just been so, so many things that get me down. But anyway, go to escape to bitdcountry.com escape to bitdcountry.com and sure like I'm, I'm gonna now I'm a little bit like triple H because you've done a fabulous job and thank you because you always do great work always thank you. Thank you. now I'm gonna let the sheriff end the show the way he sees fit so sheriff end the show your way. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out all the fun stuff on the Big D Zone podcast. This is for, for Charles Berman and my friend, Deshaun Porter. We'll see you next time for another edition of the Big D Zone podcast. Take care, be cool, and have a great day. All right, we we have a bit of a long shot here. My phone is acting up again. Oh, great. This is going to be a blooper. Blooper wheel. Okay.